I am alive. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teachers. I'm hoping my internet will co uh, my my sampung manunod na tayo. So, kumusta po kayong lahat? Good evening. Hello po. Hello, Ma'am Liza. Ma'am Liza, you are done taking the let last June 26, right? Good evening, Ma'am Regina, Ma'am Liza, Ma'am Rosana, Ma'am Cherry. Good evening. Good evening, Ma'am Ernie, Giselle. Hello, good evening. Layo hala math pala. Okay, so actually, I intended to um, live or to review about the vocabulary, but um, may nag-request na mag-math tayo. Good evening. Hi, Mom Tala. Good evening. Okay, so not to brag, but um, I like I really like math when I was in in high school in elementary but when i was in college when i met statistics and probability and research of uh, different kind of uh, measurement ayun nagkanda lechi lechi <laughs> hindi ko na alam kung gusto ko pa yung math hala math ma pala ma marami din lumabas ng sunday yes kaya nga ang daming nag-request na mag math daw tayo kasi medyo nalilito pa sila sa math and um, also, uh, maraming lumabas sa lat kaya kahit ayaw natin sa math, I mean, yes, um, haharapin pa rin natin siya. Okay, so maghanda na lang tayo. Nakapag-take na po ako, ma'am, ng June 26. Makinig lang po kayo kay Ma'am Tala and Sir Melvin. Super matutulungan po kayo. Wow, thank you so much, Ma'am Liza. Okay, sige, I will take as a challenge kasi marami ang lalabas sa exam. Learn to love math na lang. That's correct. Yes. Thank you, Ma'am Nieva, for that wonderful advice. Okay, so teachers, let's learn to love math. Actually, ma math is very fun. It's fun. And um, today, we're only going to discuss about the basics. So, mag uh, magsimula na tayo. Okay, Gen Ed, math, let review drills by Teacher Tala, let TV. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, let's start. Okay, um, copyright this um, according to fair use policy under section 107 of the copyright 76, allowance is made for fair use, comment, news reporting, teaching, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Okay, so magsimula tayo sa algebraic expressions. Okay, yes, my old curriculum. Yung addition, subtraction, multiplication, division lang yung, yung na-master natin, di ba? Tapos nung nag-high school, may kasama ng letra. Okay. So, tingnan natin. Finding variables, coefficient, and exponent. So, maraming lumabas, maraming lumabas dito sa noong March also. Uh, March and also this June. Uh, I mean, last June 26. Last June, let. So, tingnan natin, paano nga ba hanapin si variables, coefficient, and exponent? So, always remember that variables are any letters in the alphabet. So, um, mostly, or yes, most, uh, most math equations use x, x, x and y. Wow! Um, good evening, Upside Down. Hello, Teacher Tala. Good evening, watching from Bahrain. Wow, good evening po. Uh, gabi, na din dyan, uh, gabi na din ba dyan sa Bahrain? Okay, so now let's talk about the variables. Okay, 13x squared. Nasaan ang variable dyan? Ano ang variable? Ano ang variable? Watching from Saudi Arabia. Wow! Wow! I didn't know na um, ano, uh, nakikita na, to, na uh, may nanonood pala sa akin um, outside the country. Okay, that's correct. X or any letters used in the equation. Ano ba yung mga letters? A to Z. Pwede yung gamitin sa 
a math equation. Kaya, always remember that variable is not just x. It could be y, it could be a, it could be n, it could be m, it could be t, or any letters used in the math equation. So, because sa, thir uh, sa example natin, 13 or sa given, 13x squared ang ginamit ay x. So, the variable is x. Next, coefficient. Actually, it's called numerical coefficient. So, from the word numerical, ano ang coefficient natin sa given? 13. That's correct, Ma'am Jonah. 13. So, or any number, uh, um, ano ba yan? Yes, it's called numerical coefficient. Um, katabi ng variable. Katabi ng variable. Okay, next. That's correct. 13. Exponent. Ano naman exponent natin dyan? So, it's very easy, right? Teachers, you just have to, what? Uh, uh, you just have to know the parts or, yes, the name of the parts of an equation or of an, or of an expression. That's correct. That's 2. And it's called squared. Okay? 2. Now, how about teachers? Kung ganito lang yung ang given. Ano ang coefficient? Ano ang coefficient ng x squared? Teacher, may coefficient ba ang x squared? Two exponent. Very good, Ma Melanie. Mom Jo Villain, one. Mom Jonah, one. Watching from Billerin. Wow, good evening. Good evening, Ma Melanie. One. Okay, that's correct, teachers. Yung numerical coefficient natin dyan ay one. Actually, all variables with no visible um, numbers uh, nakasama ay always constant yan ang one. Why is it, teacher tala, why is it not um, being shown or being written together with the, with the equation, with the expression? So, hindi yan kasali kasi wala naman siyang purpose. Why? Because every number you multiply by 1 is just the number itself. So, wala siyang, wala siyang purpose dyan. <laughs> so, um, uh, inomit natin si 1, but always remember that 1 is always there. Kasama-kasama niya siya. <laughs> okay, kasama-kasama yan ni x. Okay, so si 1 dyan ay coefficient. And of course, um, one, actually, it's actually one x squared. But in math, it's simplified as x squared. x squared, that's already understandable that my one jan. What time ka nag start mag live, Mam Tala? Actually, wala kong um, schedule na fina follow. Maybe I have to make a schedule. Kasi magluluto pa ako ng hapunan. Actually, I just, um, I just finished cooking um, dinner. And um, before I go, I went live. Kaya um, hindi wala talaga ako schedule na pina follow. Maybe every after dinner or oh, hindi pa ako nagdi dinner. So uh, every after cooking dinner. <laughs> yes, mabas po yan mamtalo coefficient po hinahanap. Okay, that's correct. Yes, thank you so much, Sir Ryan. Good evening. Okay, so Jen, um, x squared. Um, simplified expression. 1x squared, that is that is already wrong if that will be your answer. Next, 13x. Ano ang exponent? 13x. Ano ang exponent dyan? Ano ang exponent? Teacher, tala, may exponent ba? Wala na mga exponent dyan. Ano ang exponent dyan? 13x. Yes, hello, Ma'am Eleanor. So, exponent natin dyan, same with the x squared, um, kapag missing, very good, Ma'am Nieva, kapag missing yung um, exponent, uh, x lang, it's 1. 1. So, it means 13x, my 1 exponent. Teacher, tala, but wala na namang 1, but missing si 1. As I've told you, one, wala siyang purpose. Why? Because it's just the same number. Okay, just the same number. So, no need to put the 1. Okay, so that's why the the lowest um, exponent na makikita nyo is 2. Is 2. Ang makikita nyo. But mostly, my x lang. Walang 1. Okay, I hope that's um, that is understood, teacher. Next, let's go to some board exam questions. 
Okay, um, ito uh, algebra, uh, algebra to, algebra. So, it talks about integers and variables and combining them, um, performing operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so tingnan natin, paano nga ba simplify si 2x minus um, brace or the quantity of 3y minus the quantity of 5x minus the quantity of 7y minus 6x. Okay, so tingnan natin. Um, may hinihanda akong ito, um, board, uh, ano to, pad, <laughs> solution pad. Okay, na ibaba natin para makita natin. So, let us write 2x minus, I'm sorry, minus 3y minus 5x, 5x minus 7y minus 6x. So, kayo, kayo teachers, kung alam niyo na kung paano, um, kung paano to um, isosolve, mag-solve na lang din kayo dyan. So, teacher tala, ba't walang choices? I Minimemorize minimo, uh, minim lang namin yung math. Okay, so today, we're not going to memorize the answers, but we're going to really look how to solve these kind of equations in math. Because these are just actually very easy. So, just always follow the rules. Ano ba yung rule? Always remember that in um, performing operations in algebra, you have to combine like terms. Combine like terms. Start. With, let's start with P first. Um, parenthesis. So any number na uh, naka enclose a parenthesis, yun yung unahin natin. Okay. So ano ba yung parenthesis gen? So seven y minus six x. Now we're going to simplify it. Okay. Ano ang pwede dyan? Negative or minus 7y minus 6x. Okay, so my missing. Meaning, my 1 jan or just an operation, minus. So we're going to copy this one first. Let's copy that. Okay, 3y. Actually, these um questions, I also just got this from the reviewer or from the uh, materials. Um, given to me by Sir Melvin. So, parang, parang na-discuss na rin yato. So, 5x. So, tanggalin natin ang parenthesis. Magiging minus 7y, of course. Negative times positive, that's negative. And negative times negative, that is positive 6x. So, um, I hope you understood bakit naging negative si 7y at naging positive si 6x. Kasi in multiplying um, integers, um, uh, opposite signs take the negative sign while the same signs take the positive sign. Okay, next. Um, tanggalin na, naman natin si bracket. So, ang mangyayari dyan is... Um, 2x minus 3y. So, tang uh, tatanggalin natin si bracket. Kaya, um, magiging negative 5x. At ito magiging positive 7y, negative 6x. Ayan. So, next is... Um, tatanggalin naman natin si brace. Teacher Tala, ba't hindi ka pa, kayo, pa po kayo nag-combine dyan? Pwede nang ma may ma-combine dyan. Ang uh, unahin natin, teachers, ay yung mga, uh, yung mga brackets, parentheses, and brace para hindi tayo maguguluhan. Okay? So, next is, tatanggalin natin si brace, kaya magiging 2x minus 3y plus... 5x minus 7y plus 6x. Okay, so nandito na tayo. Tapos na, wala nang mga um, 
ano ba ang tawag dito? <laughs> Wala nang mga partitions. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we're going to combine like terms. So, ano ba, yan ba dito ang like terms? 2x plus 5x plus 6x. How much is that? That will be 13x. Next is negative 3y minus 7y because that's negative, uh, same sign, that will be um, addition. So, we're going to add 10 Y. So, um, sagot natin dito ay 13x minus 10y. 13x minus 10y. Tingnan nga natin kung sino may nakakasagot. Okay, 13x minus 10y. Very good, Ma'am Gigi. Uh, Kasama yan ang exam na Sunday. Nakaubos nga lang ng oras kaka-solve. Kaya di ko na po na-solve. <laughs> okay. Negative 10y. Okay, the answer is 13x minus 10y. So, I hope nakaka-follow po kayo kung paano nagiging or paano tayo nag-arrive sa answer 13x minus 10y. So, I'm going to cater questions. Every, magtanong lang po kayo dyan um, at sasagutin natin hanggang kaya natin. <laughs> okay, 13x minus 10y. Next, how about this one? Simplify x minus 3y times the quantity of x minus 8y minus the quantity of negative 6x plus 7y. So, same solution pa rin or same. Okay. Um, it's good good thing that I'm actually using paint. So, madaling madaling. Um, I try not. Okay. 13 uh, x minus 3y, x minus, minus 8y, next, minus negative, minus negative 6x plus 7y. Okay, tama ba? Oh, okay. So, ang gagawin natin teachers, of course, from um, the pattern in, um, in, in solving mathematical equations, we're going to omit these parentheses. So, let's start. So, teacher Tala, walang operations. Anong gagawin? Ang gagawin natin is we're going to uh, multiply the negative 3y sa both sa, um, sa terms, x and sa 8y. Okay? So, teacher Tala, ba't walang kas hindi kasama si x? Kasi hindi naman niya naka-enclose in parentheses. Kapag naka-enclose siya, silang apat yung multiply natin. Pero, dahil walang parentheses ang x minus 3 ay meaning yung negative 3 way lang yung multiply natin. Okay? So, I hope that's understood. Now, let's just copy x. And then, let us multiply negative 3y times x. That will be negative 3xy. Teacher Tala, I thought it's just combining like terms. X and Y are not alike. So, um, teachers, um, according to the rules of multipl multiplying in teachers or in algebra, um, if you're going to multiply, you can combine any, any terms. Basta multiplication and division. Uh, uh, just multiplication. And division too. For example, negative 3x divided by negative 3, so that will only be xy. So, pwede siya. Pero pag um, addition and subtraction lang, hindi pwede. Only the like terms. Okay, next. Negative 3xy and that negative. Next, um, si xy. May kasama ba? Wala. Kaya ikakapi lang natin siya. 3xy. And of course, uh, 24y squared. Teacher Tala, y. Pwede. Pwede ba? Pwede? Hindi. Pwede. Bakit? Y squared yan. Tapos siya, Y lang. Kaya, ikakapi lang natin si 7Y at last si 24Y squared. So, teacher Tala, kapag iba ang exponent, hindi pwede ikukombine kahit same letters, same variables. Yes, that is correct. Kapag positive or kapag addition and subtraction lang. Okay, so I hope that is understood. So let us check. Okay, 7x minus 3xy minus 7y plus, plus 24y squared. Okay, mahina bang signal? Um, I don't know if it's in my end. 
or it's yours. Um, teachers, kindly confirm if ako ba yung ma ako ba yung um putol putol or mahina ba yung signal ko dito or Opo, mamahina po. Oh my gosh. Okay, but positive po yung 24Y squared. Okay, um, teacher, sino yun? Si uh, Ma'am Krista. Ma'am Krista, kasi negative 3Y times negative y. So, because the same sign, which, which are negative, puro sila negative, ang Ang mangyayari, dahil sa multiplication um, rule, we're going to make positive 24y squared. So, uh, um, different signs, negative, opposite signs, uh, no, different signs, negative, the same signs, um, positive. Okay, that's the rule of multiplication and division. Pero sa addition and multiplication, you already know, um, <laughs> yan yung song sa um, addition and subtraction oh lo loading loading ba? okay pang signal new ma'am okay lang naman pala ma'am nyeva si ma'am nyeva nagsabi okay lang daw yung, yung signal ko um, yes i-upload ko po ito ma'am jona every live will be uploaded okay now let's go to the next question what is the exponent? Oh, ito yung nasa board exam question. Um, what is the exponent in the expression 13x squared plus y? What's the exponent? 13x squared plus y. A2, Bx, Cy, D13. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Negative po yun, Ma'am Krista. Hindi po nakikita ang slide. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Nakalimutan ko. Nakaharang pala si paint. Okay. Let me just. Oh, how about yan? How about now? Teachers. Okay. That is too. Very good. Now, let's go to the next question. Oh, uh, my uh, different topics naman tayo, which are prime and composite. So, add and even numbers, um, different yon sa prime and composite. So, ano bang prime, prime and composite teacher tala? So, prime or numbers, okay, let's drill. Mag-drill tayo dyan. Any number that can only be divided by itself and one. Any number that can only be divided by itself and one. Ano yan? Prime or composite? Any number that can only be divided by itself and 1. That will be prime. Very good, Mom Jovelin. That is prime. That's correct. Next, any number that can be divided by another number or numbers aside from itself and 1. Okay, Mom Febby, composite. That is correct. Composite. So, for example, um. Three. Three is what number? What kind of number? Prime or composite? Three. Three teachers. Prime. Very good, Mom Jo. Villain, that's prime. How about four? Four. Four is? It's composite. Very good. Yes. Yes. Very good, Mom. Jovelin. So, 4 is composite because the factors will be, or it can be factored by 2, 1, and 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. 1 times 4 equals 4. Next, how about 7? Of course, that's prime because only 1 and 7 are its factors. Next, what is the lowest prime? Oh. Teacher, baka lumabas to sa board because I think uh, from the past board exam, lumabas to. What is the lowest prime? What is the lowest prime? One ba, teacher? Ang lowest prime? One? 
Is it one very good mom Jovelin that is? Two. Two. Mom Cherry, two young lowest prime. One is not a prime. Why? Because um uh actually I forgot what do you call the one, but it's not um come uh one why because if you're going to square or to get the square root of one we can what is the square root of one that's one how about this two what's the square root of two now we can't generate an, an answer you know a, a perfect answer so that is two what is the lowest prime that's two next which of the following is not a prime so lumabas to last march which of the following is not a prime is it a 51 B, 41, C, 31, D, 11. So I think you already know the answers, but I'm going to, I'm going to um, tell you, teachers, paano, 11, not a prime. Mom, join me, mom, join me, um, not a prime po. Okay, by how, teacher Tala? By divisibility rules. By divisibility rules. Now, let us talk about divisibility rules. So, if uh, a number is divisible by two, if the number ends with an even number. So, for example, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, three, uh, three, seven, eight, nine, um, three, seven, eight, nine, two. Is that divisible by Okay, I'm going to show my um, paint again. So divisibility divisibility rules. Um, lesson to ng grade six, I think, or grade five. So uh, three, four, eight, nine, seven, four. So what's the last number? It's four. Is it an even or an odd number? That's an even number. So, is it divisible by 2 or no? Divisible ba siya by 2? Ano ba yung rule? Any number that ends with an even number by 2. Uh-huh. 3. When the sum of the digits is, when the sum, when the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. For example, uh, let's um, let's take for example 51. Okay, 51. Moment, baka sa akin, baka, baka yung signal ko. Wait um wait for wait for a while teachers I'm still um checking my connection I'm sorry po <laughs> baka wala nang load <laughs> Oh okay naman Oh ayan na si ma'am I'm sorry oh my gosh oh, mahina po signal niyo Oh mahina yung signal ko Um Parang ganun na nga. Good eve, mom. Okay, how about now? I hope maggo cooperate si Tina uh, thing si Mary. Um let's nawala ulit. Um I hope even if nawala ko diyan sa sa inyo na record pa rin dito sa live. Para kapag na-upload ko po ito, um, dire-diretsyo lang. Nawala na naman si ma'am. Oh my gosh! Should I end this? Should I end this one? Hinay, good siya, no? Speed test. Na-i load ang A3, no? Ha? Huh? Wala de. Um, okay, wait a moment, teachers.
Oh, wala nang load yun. Modem. Okay, mom just continue. Okay, so let us continue. Um, I Two, three, and four lang tong um, pini-prepare ko. So, if you're going to, if you are, if you want to master the divisibility rules para mas madali yung matingnan kung sino yung prime, sino yung, um, kung ano yung prime and ano yung composite, um, you can actually um, search in Google. You can just search divisibility divisibility rules. So, sa, two, sa four naman, when the last two digits are divisible by four. So, for example, kahit Gaano pa karami yung digits ng isang number kung yung last two digits are divisible by two or by four I mean uh, can be that number that no 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 not eight nine I'm sorry kaya pala twelve so three eight two zero and eight so that's it nine three two zero eight okay so um can divided siya. So, meaning, this number can be divided. So, na-prove na natin. So, um, in determining, so, in determining the composite and prime number, you don't need to really get the factors of each special in the Hello, teachers. Nandyan pa ba kayo? Or ako na yung nawala? Uh... Oh my gosh. Actually, in my place right now, we are having a bad weather. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, just now, ang lakas ng... Naman eh. Okay. Now, um, the answer here is letter B, Y equals X. Why? Um, are you familiar with the X and Y coordinate, the Cartesian plane by Rene Descartes? So, uh, meaning daw dyan, equation of the line with equal coordinates, if three, uh, if Y equals 3, then X is also 3. So, how, what equation can, can um, show that? So, that will be letter B, Y equals X. Y equals X. Next. The sum of three cons consecutive even numbers is 102. The numbers are... Actually, I was quite um, confused with the question because the question talks about three consecutive even numbers. But then, and dalawa lang yung number na uh, sa choices. Kaya, maybe it's just a typographical error. So, meaning, it's actually just maybe just two. So, yes, very good. 50 and 52. So, uh, just by looking on, at it, A and letter C, letter A and letter C is actually not the answer. Obviously. Why? Because even numbers yung inahanap natin. Pero 53 and 61 are add numbers. So, they are already not the answer. So, 48 and 50. So, if you're going to add that, that's only um, 98. But we're looking for 102. The sum of 102. So, very good. Letter D. Next. Perform the operations and reduce to simplest forms. 3x minus 2y plus 4x plus 6y. If you are already a master of... Um, performing operations with the integers, you can already look and find the, find the answer. Bakit? Kasi ikukombine mo na lang, wala na kasi siyang parenthesis, wala ng bracket, wala ng brace. So, ang gagawin mo lang, that will be 7x plus 4y. 7x plus 4y. Teacher, teacher tala, but plus 4y, but in the um, minus, maybe minus um, 8y. So, that's already in the rule of how to um, solve addition and multiply uh, addition and subtraction in algebra so that will be 7x minus 4y so i don't know not minus plus 4y 7x plus 4y so which is letter b so i hope you understood already how i got the 7x plus 4y so that's letter b next 
Elizabeth weighed 70 kg before exercising. She lost 4 kg on her first week, gained 5 kg on the second week, lost 6 kg on the third week, and retained her weight during the fourth week. Which was... Okay. Ang napakadali lang talaga nito, teachers. Ang gagawin natin is we're going to take the clue words. Ano ba yung clue words? Lost, gained... Um, lost again. So, ano ba yung lost? Of course, that's subtraction minus. Gained is add. So, we're going, wow, Mom Nieva, 65. We even did not, I mean, I did not even show the um, the choices yet, but you already know the answer. That's great. So, now let's try. So, 70 yung um, original weight niya. Okay, 70. Nang hindi pa siya nag-exercise. Nang nag-exercise siya, she lost. So, she lost 4 kilos. So, we're going to say 70 minus 4. Okay? Next. Oh, no. Okay, 70 minus 4. Next, she gained again. Kasi, oh, tinatapad, tinatamad na ako mag-exercise. Tapos, nagugutom ako. Kaya, nag-add na naman. Plus yan. Plus 5 kilograms. Plus 5 kilograms on the second week. And lost. And nabahala na naman siya kasi na, 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 nag-lose siya ng 4 kilogram and then nag-add siya ng 5. So, oh, nako, malaking problema yan. Kaya nag-exercise nag na naman siya. Nag-6 kilogram, nag-minus 6 kilogram and then retained her weight. So, yan yung equation natin. And we're just going to perform it. So, 70 minus 4, that is have, uh, 60, 66. Right? 66 plus 5, 71 minus 6, that is 65. So, ayan. So, hindi niyo pala nakita. <laughs> hindi niyo pala nakita yung solution ko. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, 70 minus 4, kasi nag-lost nag 4 kilograms siya on her first week, gained plus 5, and then lost again with 6 kilogram, so minus 6. So, nag, um, i add lang natin or i-perform lang natin yung operation. 70 minus 4, which is 66 plus 5, 71 minus 6 equals 65. So, the answer here is, yes, 70, oh, I'm sorry, 65 kilogram, which is in letter C. Letter C. Okay, very good. Next. In a senior high school class composed of 40 students, 16 choose, chose to take ABM track and the rest selected the STEM track. The total who selected STEM was, okay, so this is just very easy. This is just simple math, teachers. Okay, let's just delete this one. Um, 40, 40 students. So, sa 40 students na to, may 16 students na nag-take ng ABM. How much daw or um, how many students daw yung nag-take ng STEM? So, unknown. Ano ba yung unknown? So, we can take any variable. It could be any letters in the alphabet. So, we are just going to, kasi mostly or commonly use the X, we're just going to use X. So, meaning let X be the number of students who took the, the STEM track. Okay, and 16 for ABM and the total number is 40. So, meaning 16 plus X equals 40. Next, so 40, uh, 6, uh, i-transpose or i-transfer natin sa X dito and that will become, transfer X, that will become uh, negative X, 16 minus Oh, I think, I'm sorry. Um, ilipat, ilipat natin si 40 dito sa, sa kabila. Equals 40. Equals 40. So, i-transpose natin si 16. That will become minus 16. So, x equals, oh, I'm sorry. Equals, that is 24. So, 24, and the sino ngayon si X? X are the number of students who took up STEM track. So, 24 yung answer. Tingnan natin kung nandyan ba siya sa choices. 
24. That's very good. Okay, 32, 8, 20, 24. Yay, that's letter D. Now, nakita natin si answer. It's D, 24. Next, Carlo had an average of 70% in his first two tests and an average of 80% in his next three tests. The average for his five tests is, so 70 and 80. So, tingnan natin. Five, that will become seven, 35, 30, that will be six. So the, the total average or the average for all the five tests, for all Carlos' five tests, is 76. So napaka, oh, hindi niya nakita na naman. Ang kalimutan ko talaga. Okay, seven to 40. And then, um, nag-arrive tayo ng 380, ng sum of 380. And I divide natin sa number of tests, which, are, which is 5. So, the answer is 76. Tingnan natin kung nandyan ba siya. Nandyan ba si 76? That's correct. It's letter B, 76. Very good. Next. Punta naman tayo sa prime factorization. So, we already are familiar with prime and composites. Now, we're going to talk about prime factorization. Ano ba, yun? Ano ba to teacher Tala? So, a number, any number, you will already know that can be it can be factored, right? So, paano ba natin malalaman kung ano yung mga prime numbers na nasa um, sa number na yan? So, we can use a factor tree. So, for example, the um, board exam question, the prime factors of 72 are, the prime factors of 72 are, teacher, tala, paano ba to? Okay, don't, don't panic, teacher. Don't panic, teachers. So, we're going to, it's just very easy. Always remember that math is easy and it's always fun. Always fun solving math. Okay, na bida natin si 72 natin ngayon, 72 ngayon. Now, we're going to get the factors. Ano ba yung mga factors? Yun yung numbers na kapag may multiply mo, mag-result sa 72. So, let us, uh, the easiest is 8 times 9. So, now, um, can it still be factored? Can it still be factored? Yes, 8 can still be factored. Can still be multiplied by 2. I mean, can still be factored with 2 and 4. So, 2 times 4, that's 8. And also 9 because they are still composite number. Now, oh, my prime na tayo. 2, 3, and 3. So, meaning, um, hindi na natin siya gagalawin kasi prime na yan. Okay? Next, ang 4, composite pa yan. Kaya, um, i-divide pa natin. 2 and 2. So, ano yung prime? Prime numbers in 72. That will be 2 cube or 3 twos times which can be denoted by a small dot and 3 squared or you can just simply you can just simply write 2 times 2 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals 72 next what is factor 3 again factor 3 is actually um a set of numbers um from or like it's finding the factors of a number until you can't factor anymore. So what are those um, numbers that can't be factored? Those are prime numbers. So actually, just earlier, uh, nag, nag thunder. Ano ba yan? Nag thunder. My thunder kanina ang lakas lakas. Dug dug yan sa bisaya. <laughs> Kalimutan ka sa tagalog. Okay. Now, board exam question. The prime factors of 56 are. The prime factors of 56 are. So, when you already know how to factor um, numbers, you can just actually look at the number itself and you can already picture out what are the prime numbers. So, 56, that will be um, 8. I don't know. 7 and 8, right? 7 and 8, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, 2 cube. 8 is a result of 2 cube. So, 2 times 2, oh, 7, 1, 7, and 3 twos. 3 twos. So, meaning, 
two uh, seven times two times two times two. Now that's where's the answer? Of course, that's already very, very obvious. So teacher, tala, bakit letter B is not correct? Seven times eight equals fifty six. Why? Because we're looking for the prime, and eight is still a composite. And also the same with C and D. Okay, eight times seven. Yes. Light na me watching from Sultan Kaderet. Okay, hello. Good good evening, Sir Rolando. So, I hope narinig, narinig nyo pa rin ako. Or, do you want me to end the live and just... Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, let's just proceed. Baka may, nag, baka may nag-watch pa ba? May 38. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Ma'am Fadeline. Okay, next. What is LCM and LCD? LCM is least common multiple and LCD a least common denominator. And they are actually just the same. They're just the same. Okay, so for example, 2 and 3. What are the uh, common or the LCD of 2 and 3? A, 3, B, 9, C, 12, D, 6. Actually, ang tudo ni Sir Melvin is when you're going to, uh, well, kapag LCD, you will look um, at the choices first. And now, you're going to divide it from the given. Diba? Yun yung tudo ni Sir Melvin. Okay, so actually, yes, that's correct. Letter D, 6. Wow, teachers, good job. So, it's letter D. So, 6 can be divided by 2 and Three. Okay, that's correct. Opo, yes. So, pero may um, ituturo din akong um, way kung paano. So, in LCD, the answer is the same or bigger than the biggest number given. Okay? Is the same or bigger than the biggest number given. For example, 2, 3, and 12. What is the biggest number? It's 12. Right, so can 12 be um, can 12 be divided by 2, 3, and 12? Yes, of course. So 12 is their LCD. 12 is their LCD. Now I'm going to teach you a way. So that what's the rule? The rule is break down the given using prime numbers and you can apply this um, way. So, ano ba yung um, given natin? 2, 3, and 12. So, we're going to use the composition method. So, ano ba yung number na pwedeng ma-divide kay 2 para magiging 1 siya? So, that's 2. Still, right? 1 and 3. Can 3 be divided by 2? No. So, you're just going to copy. 12 can be divided by 2? Yes. So, that will be 6. Now, 3 and 6, pwede bang ma-divide? Yes. Um, yeah, of course, not in the wrong one. 2 times 3 times 2 equals 12. So, their LCD is 12. Their LCD is 12. Okay. Yes, i-upload ko po ito. Now, let's look for a board exam question. So, I, I, may, may isa pa, roster method. Ano ba yung roster method? I-list nyo lang yung multiples ng bawat isa. So, for example, for 2, what are the multiples for 2? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And how about for 3? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Next, uh, for 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Now, we're going to look for their common. Ano ba yung mga common? And X. Actually, teachers, if these are big numbers, ma mas mahihirapan pa kayo. Yes, roster method or listing method. So, mahihirapan pa kayo kasi kapag bigger number, meaning ma mag extend pa siya. Okay? So, uh, tingnan natin. Okay? May common tayong 12 and 24. Pero yung hinahanap natin is least. Ano ba yung, ano, sino ba yung lesser? 12 or yung 24? Of course, 12. So, 12 is the answer. So, listing method or decomposition method, It's which is very easy. Ang decomposition method, right? Mas easy yung decomposition method. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-list down ng multiples. Next. 
Okay, this is a board exam question. The least common multiple of 8, 6, 3 is... Okay, tingnan natin. 8, 6, and 3. 8, oh, I'm sorry. Dito sa gitna. 8, 6, and 3. Now, um, what we're going to do is yung aim natin, gagawin natin siyang 1. Kaya, teach, uh, teacher Tala, can we just... Can we just um, directly use 8 para maging 1? No. What we're going to do is we're going to use prime numbers. So we can start with 2. 2. So 4, 6 divided by 2. That's 3. 3 divided by 2 cannot be. So we're just going to copy 3. Next, um, let's start with 3 first para hindi na masyadong mahaba. So 1. Next. And 2 pa rin. So 1. So, we're just going to multiply all these prime numbers. 2 times 3, that's 6 times 2. 12 times 2, that's 24. So, tingnan natin kung may 24 ba sa choice, sa choices. Okay. Mm, A, 72. B, 48. C, 96. D, 24. No, you don't need to. What are you going to do is you're just going to multiply all, them all. So 5 times 2, 10 times 7, that's 70. Tingnan natin kung may 70. That's letter D, 70. Okay? Uh, remember these teachers. Para hindi na kayo magsusolve kasi napaka, na, mag-waste din kayo ng time. So kapag prime numbers na yung given, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, use or apply the composition method you just directly multiply all of them which are, which is 70 very good next how about gcf and gcd okay what is gcf graded pwede yon so in gcf uh, always remember so lcd or so lcm the answer is the same or bigger than the biggest number given in gcf it's opposite the answer is the same or lower than the smallest number given. Yes, okay. Okay, tingnan natin. So, 4, 12, and 20. Ano ba yung um, GCF niya? Is it 5, 4, 12, or 2? Ano ba yung smallest number? 4. Ano yung smallest number? 4, that's correct. My 4 ba sa choices? Yes, meron. Now, um, ano ang next na titingnan natin? Tingnan natin kung ang 4 ba is, uh, can be divided or uh, is ang um, 4 ba, uh, pwede ba siyang maging divisor ng 12 and 20? Pwede ba? Yes. 4 ang answer. Titingnan natin yung factors. Ah, okay. Okay, Mom Nieva and Mom Mary Grace. Next. So, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So, you can only list um one number, one, I mean, a number once. You can only list a number once, only once, teacher. You, you cannot repeat. So, for example, so 4, my 2 times 2. So, you, ca you won't write 2 and 2. So, only 1, 2, okay? And four times five. So now, ano ba yung call? Two. Now we're going to um go back sa hinahanap natin greatest common factor. Hinahanap natin yung pinakamalaki. Ano ba yung pinakamalaki? So four is the answer. Now, so the composition method naman. Tingnan naman natin yung number that we're the aim natin, yung goal natin is one. Right? Mag magiging 1 lahat. But for GCF, um, sa GCF, ano yung given? I forgot. Uh, 4, 12, and 20. Okay. Sa GCF, okay, list the natin. 4, 12, and 20. So, yung mga prime numbers na ililist natin dito, they should be, or they should be divisible. Oh, no, no. They should be, they can be divided. Paano ba yung sasabihin? Ayun, factor siya ng lahat. Ng lahat. Kasi sa LCM, we, hindi tayo magmamatter eh. Kung kahit hindi siya ma-divide ng 4, basta ma-divide siya sa 12 until magiging 1 si 12, pwede. Pero sa GCF, hindi. So for example, sa 2, 
numbers. What? To one. Common times two equals down the prime number. That ta magiging one siya. Okay, for the great mean, I'm going to divide those so that is four divisible and the six and one. So because my one na, so we cannot continue anymore. So three is the greatest common factor. Let's check. Meron bang three? Yes, letter D. Three is the answer. Letter D. Now we're going to um talk about perimeter. Oh, hindi niya nakikita yung yung choices. Okay. Choices. Okay. D is D is three. So that's the answer. Letter D. Now we're going to to um. Um, discuss about perimeter. Okay, perimeter. So, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the sum of all sides of a polygon. So, for example, we have a square. Um, because the square has equal sides, I mean, a square is a polygon which has equal sides. So, uh, uh, how many sides are there in a square? May apat, di ba? So, we're just going to multiply um, side times 4 or 4s s is denoted or side is denoted by a single letter s so p equals 4s or you can you can simply say s plus s plus s plus s so apat na s so for example side is equal to 2 centimeters side is equal to 2 centimeters now we're just going to multiply it by 4 so that's 8 so the perimeter of a square which has Two, uh, which has a side of 2 centimeters, that will be 8. 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. Next, how about fields or meet goal line to goal line? So if you line to another goal line. And then oh, the, the perimeter is 360. 360 lahat. So only one side lang yung 100. So ano daw yung, yung width? Ano daw yung width? So it could be, oh wait. I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay. So, perimeter, of course, ihanda natin yung formula, which is 2L plus 2 width. Yung length natin is 100. So, and then the perimeter is 360. So, i-substitute natin. 360 times 2, which is the length. What is the length? 100. Plus 2 with, which is um, the unknown, which is the missing. So 360 equals 200 plus 2 with. Now we're going to transfer 2 with equals, equals um, 360 minus 200. So ang magiging, mag answer dyan, Okay, that will be 2 width equals 160. Now, to get the, the width, we're going to divide them by 2. Divided by 2, divided by 2, that will become width is equal to 80. So, ano yung unit? Meters. 80 meters. Tingnan natin kung nandyan ba siya sa choices. Tingnan natin. A, 86 meters. B, 80. That's correct. So, nandyan si letter B. Okay, so teachers kasi um, parang ang hinat lang to yung, uh, ko, ko na lang tong live, live tomorrow. B, aagahan natin. Uh, kasi uh, napaka-basic nito and and um, I want you, I want to share what I know about these problems. So, thank you so much for watching, teachers. Ayan. Um, naka one hour naman tayo. Pero napaka, napakaraming um, topics pa yung dapat nating um, i-discuss. Kaya, um, see you tomorrow, teachers, at 10. At 10 a.m.? Yes, maybe at 9 or anyway. Maybe 10. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much and have a good night, teachers. Bye.
Goodbye, teachers. Parang hindi niyo na, na talaga ako naringrinig. Uh, the weather is so bad. Yes, okay. I-upload ko pa ito, Ma'am Lilibeth. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Ma'am Jonah. Good night po. Ganalit po sa inyong lahat, LPTs. So, magbasa na lang muna tayo kasi hindi nagkiki-operate si Signal. Yes, thank you, teachers. Goodbye po sa inyo.